hello, welcome back to my study. Here's a question to get us thinking. Who is it that you are most looking forward to seeing when we can see people in our houses uh, from Monday next week? Who is it you're most looking forward to seeing? Have a think about that. Press pause and have a think. Well, I'm, I, I've got a friend coming to stay. We've got a friend coming to stay from London uh, at half term. He's coming up on Saturday at the beginning of half term, staying until Tuesday, all being well. A friend called James. I'm really looking forward to seeing James. It's going to be great. We haven't, we're, we're good friends and we haven't seen each other since, uh, oh, I can't remember how long. Probably best part of two years now. I'm really looking forward to seeing James. I want to take us to Isaiah 33, verse 17. And somebody we're going to be looking, we, we, we should be looking forward to seeing even more than whoever it is we're looking forward to seeing uh, next week or beyond. Isaiah 33, verse 17. Your eyes will see the king in his beauty and view a land that stretches afar. Uh, the whole thing about uh, Isaiah between chapters 13 and, and uh, 39 is that Ahaz isn't the king, the king. He's the king of, of Judah, but he's not the king they're looking forward to. And Hezekiah, even though he's a good king, isn't the king. But here your eyes will see the king. Uh, the, the one who's been promised to David uh, 300 years earlier and who... Uh, the whole Bible in the Old Testament is looking forward to. And Isaiah tells the people that your eyes will see the king. And of course, the king is Jesus, isn't it? Jesus is the king. And, and, and the land that stretches afar is the new creation. And this is the promise to God's people, to us, uh, if we're trusting in Jesus, that our eyes will see the king in all of his beauty. Now, we, we blokes don't do beauty in other blokes very well. Uh, so I, I think it's important to say this isn't uh, a, a kind of facial beauty of Jesus. It could be, but it's the beauty of his character, his, his, his love, his grace, his care, his righteousness, his fairness, his justice. His rule, his kingship, uh, all of that makes him beautiful and our eyes will see him. Not just the eyes in, in our new creation face, although they will see him, but the eyes of our hearts will see him perfectly. And that will be when we're in the new creation, when we're in that land that he's promised us. The land that will never be taken away. The land that will be perfect. The land that will stretch afar. That it, will, it will be a land that's got plenty of space in it and is just right. And it will be just right because the perfect king is going to be there. So as we look forward to opening up on, on Monday somewhat more, let's be even more looking forward to the day when our eyes will see King Jesus. Let me pray for us. Father, please keep us straining forward with our spiritual eyes to that day when we see the Lord Jesus face to face with our, our new creation eyes and with our, uh, with, with our spiritual eyes too, that we would be looking forward to seeing, in, seeing him in his beauty in the land you've promised us. Amen.